This is the story, if you remember. We were Roman numeralizing and making excellent jokes about Roman numerals. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what is the number uh, when you... When you what is nine, nine in half? Half cool. a... Uh, something like that. Or like, oh, or like what number when you take one away becomes one more? What number when you take one away becomes one more? <gasps> yeah. Four. Nine. Four? Nine. Because if you write four and you take one away, you get nine. Five. And if you have nine and you take one, one away, away, you get ten. ten. And then we could also do division. Like if that's you messing up this. If that's you messing up the theory of subtraction. It messes up the theory of subtraction really seriously because we would. What would be your normal theory of subtraction? Like like, t like t five minus two equals three or stuff like that. Yeah, and, and that's a good example. Have you got an argument for what is subtraction? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What is it's, it? It's the process of taking one number away from another. Okay. The opposite of addition. Opposite yeah. of addition? Yeah, addition is taking two numbers it's, and putting them together. It's enemies with addition, and it Three. has a really strong friendship with division. No, it's multiplication. Well, I don't know. Oh what do you think? Yeah. Friendship with multiplication or friendship with division? With division. Because they both take away. Oh, subtraction, yeah, yeah, has, a, subtraction has a friendship with division? Because Actually, yeah. I would just say, I, I think that like addition and subtraction are like brothers and sisters. <laughs> and like addi multiplication is addition's best friend and division is subtraction's best friend. Well, that's excellent. And, and they and do argue a lot. And uh, are, are multiplication and division brothers and sisters? No, just... Just, just happen. It could be. It could be. <laughs> you don't know. I would like you to do some Roman numeral addition. And you can, first of all, look for all the sneaky, tricky places. Got a sneaky, tricky place? MCM is, I think, a thousand and... Oh, five, I think it's five thousand... And four thousand. Five thousand and four thousand. The is four thousand. That you've certainly got the right concept, which is, is the, that the, the C addition. before the M is uh, telling you to subtract, which is part of the extreme badness. The first question is, what's M? Yeah, uh, a thousand. Is a thousand. Oh, I. Uh, I so that means that. CM is who? CM is who? Uh, 900? 900. So, you want to read the first number out? Um, I already wrote down. Um, 1,913. That's exactly what I got. Seem? Seem reasonable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, the bottom number? Um, D is 15. No, wait. What is it? What is it? 500? D is 500, right? D is 500, yes. Right. What's okay. 50 again? What's 50? 50 is L. Um, what do we think XL is? That's, that's where uh, we're, we're yeah, oh, making. 40. 40. So Eight. this is 740. But uh, rapidly erasing that, ooh. because we're not interested in can you do ordinary, boring, our kind of subtraction. I like to see what um, happens when I you're working with these guys. I don't hear you all screaming out the answer. You are, you are not yeah, instantly what? saying, oh, I know what? what the answer to that is. The answer to that is really, 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 uh, really simple. 2,353? Well, I want it in, in proper Latin. Oh, oh, okay. Got it. Latin. Are we doing addition or subtraction? We're doing addition because addition is so easy. Okay. Wait, what? Can someone a translate to No translating. What have we got here? Count them up. How many M's have we got? Two. 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 Got it. No. no got wait, it. Let me think. But what's this C doing? It's taking away uh, one. Hundred. It's taking hundred away a hundred. Uh, the M. So this C is actually being subtracted rather than added. Yeah. Can you think of a clever thing to do with it? No. Not really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rihanna. Is it like? Uh, who, the, the answer to the question? The f um, C and the M. The C before the M means a hundred less than a thousand. Oh, 
900. Which is 900, yeah. Okay, so this is, but we've collected these two ends, right? So mm -hmm. those are those two ends. Now we've got to deal with the fact that there is this minus a C. So we've got to subtract 100. We've got to so subtract 100 from something. 1,900? No, I, I, sorry, let me say this again because I've got, it's gotten a little confused. <laughs> we were here. I agree. This says 1,900. Yeah, all, all happy? But I want to add this number to this number. Okay. That's what I want to do. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that uh, 700. I don't, I don't want you turning it into nice, easy numbers. Actually, my purpose, I think, has been served because what M? I was going to say is this is a terrible way to do arithmetic. M? This is M really bad. M, M. Uh, okay, M, M. D, C. We have M, M, and we have a D. And C. And okay. only one C. Why only one C? Because the second C is added to no, the two C's. C's. These two C's. Oh, of course. So we've got one C. Okay, now. What about this X here? It goes with that X up there. Yeah, yeah because this this is being subtracted mm -hmm. from. So it's so X, X. Those walk, and what are we left with? Uh, 503. No, 50. 53. 53. And there we go. So Which is L I A I. It's doable, but you say, here are the Romans, and they are running an entire huge empire and collecting taxes from everywhere, from the Near East all the way to and Britain. And they do the taxes like that? They couldn't. They would never get their arithmetic done right. I know, right. yeah. And, and we have no remaining Latin math books that tell you how they did math. But what we do have is something totally weird, which is an English math book from the 17th century, and it tells you how to add numbers, and it tells you how to add Roman numbers, even though they don't use Roman numbers. Robert Records Arithmetic Book? Robert Records Arithmetic Book. That is McEnroe's real name. No, that was his real name. His name was Mr. Record. I yeah. never want to become a Roman. <laughs> Mark, you. Mark, read out loud what it says. When you, when you will add two sums, you shall first set down one of them, and then by it, draw a line across the other lines. If you look up, is that what it looks like on your paper? I have no idea what I just said. Oh, well, <laughs> well try it again. Read it over and see if it makes sense. Okay, so here we are with our spots. Here's our first number. And then there's the line so that we know that it doesn't fall over into this number. And here's our second number with one L and three X's and a V. And this is on a board and those are pebbles. That's why they're so round. Yeah. I think, um, then, once you have the numbers written down, I think the process is of adding them is um, on the very bottom row, the ones department, the I, it comes to five of V. So what does he say? He says, and, and if you would add them, you may add the one to the other in the same place. So yeah. that... <laughs> or add them both together in a new place, which is the safest way. So that's... Why is it the safest way? Mm -hmm. I know. Why? Because otherwise, it may seem like it's um with the other ones in that line. That's always a worry. So it, the reason he's put the line here is so that you remember which was which number and they don't go sliding all around together. And so if you put some more for there. So what have I got in the way of Bye. of ones? Ooh, 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 hard question. I think you can shout. How many ones? Five! 
you shouted extremely well. And you, too. Well, I had not really realized that I would be taking quite so literally. And then okay, the but are you ready for a spectacular cleverness? I've got my five pebbles here. And now what do I do? Where do I put right the pebble? Five, uh, right next to that line. Well, here's, here, do you notice this nice thing? We've got hundreds and tens and ones. And then in between them, we've got the fives and the fifties. Yeah. Wouldn't you bring the five up to the V? I definitely would. So I would go to my bag of pebbles and I would take one pebble and I'd put it there. And that's the answer to adding those guys. But, um, but you should put, um, so that pebble stays there, but along with the X, but those two pebbles make A, but those two pebbles in the V, or the 5, make a 10, so you put it with the X's, and that puts 1 in the X's plus then two in the fifties. So how many how many X's have I got all together? If I look at my entire line of You have six. I have six. I was about to yell it out. And by the way, remember when you're doing arithmetic, one of the f exciting things you learn in about second grade is about carrying? Mm -hmm. Well look what I've just done. I've just had my one, two, three, four, five, oh, and it gets Lift it up and gets carried up to here. Now here I've got Maybe a problem. Got I've got six of spot. these. So Maybe I that's where they got the carry. That's spot. where you got the carry. Yeah. Well, like you carried it. Yes. Now, X is how many have I got? Five. And so what do I do? You uh, carry one to the L. I'll carry one up to the L's. Got the concept? Yeah. 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 Okay, the first problem that Record gives in his book is add two, six, five, nine, and eight, three, four, two. Can we write this on in pebbles? Yes. What's the biggest oh, thing we've got there? Eight thousand. Okay, eight thousand. How can we do 8,000? Uh, oh, one five hundred and, not uh, one five, what? One five M and. One of the five M's? Yeah, one, one five M and three, three M's. Three and three M's. M's. Biggest M's. And then, let's see. Next you have to deal with 300, which is three. Yes. Three yeah. C's. And next we have to deal with 40, which, which would be four X's. Is which uh, would be four uh, X's. Uh, it could be an X and an L. No, 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 because that was only how they wrote a number. That oh, wouldn't yeah. be how they thought and a then number. And then two. Then what so we just have two, two, on ones. two on the ones. And two. No, other number. By the way, while you're at it, let me tell you the Roman word for a pebble. What? Which is a calculus. <laughs> you calculate so you cal you, you wait, calculate it with this is your calculator. Oh, it is a calculator no, with real. Wait, that I thought. Oh no, um, abacus and calculus. They use abacus. Is that's the grid? That grid is of the is what they have in abacus. It's a lot like an abacus, but this is just you, uh, what was called a counting board. You just took a table and just so drew this lines is on really it. really ancient? Really ancient. Okay, because the ancient Romans used uh, abacuses, which is pretty much that same board. It's pretty much the same thing. There's one interesting thing, which is they, they marked the M line so that they always knew where the M line was, so you didn't confuse thousands and five thousands and things, which is sort of like what we do with a comma. Okay, 2,659. So Can first, I do that? Yes. Yeah. So, so there's three, um, two, two with the M's. Uh, we want two of the M's. Yep. And uh, then we want one um, D of, one of and the D's. one of the D's. And one of the C's. And one of the C's. And then, let's see, we want then three we, X's. Then, no, wait, we want two C's, actually. Because there's the 
No, sorry, I was wrong. So we have our 2,000 and our 500 and 100 to make 600. So then 50 would be, then we need 1L. We there. And then we need nine one. No, you need one V five. I mean four one. Yeah, you need one V and four one. Sorry. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So add them up. Put them on and add them up. Okay. And see what you get. 